Hey YouTube, this is Nico's Worksbench for another YouTube video. Today it's the 30th birthday of uh, Windows 3.1 uh, release, so I wanted to uh, show you uh, the startup of my computer. This is a Packable Force a machine from 1994 featuring an Intel 40. 486 um, SX250 MHz CPU and it has been bumped from 4 to 8 megs of memory it has the original 320 megabyte hard drive a 1 megabyte Cirrus Logic video card and a uh, Zoom card compatible with RPL2 and it's based on the ZTEC chipset and it's running of course MS-DOS 6.22 as well as Windows 3.1 or even 3.11 for works group. Yeah. As you can see, it is not yellowed. Well, it's just that bit yellow, but it's really, really, really not that not that much, you know. Being a machine from 1984, it is complete. I've got the manual with it. It has the original packable mouse as well. And this is the exact copy of the first machine I used when I was four back in 1997. Um, features I loved about this, and it's not described anywhere, is this as what I call an instant on CRT display. I don't know if the filaments are lit as soon as you turn the power on, but uh, when the degos coil you hear the degos coil and the high voltage going. The screen will be instant on, which is really weird for a CRT. It has not been turned on since about two weeks, and I will demonstrate right now. It is in sleep, as you can see, and I will turn on the machine and see how the displays will be instant on. That's instant on to me, like. Yeah, it's a 486SX2, hey, 50 megahertz, it has 8 megs of memory, like he said. There's a Phoenix BIOS on it. I'm sorry for the flickering. It's as much CETA. CR563 CD-ROM drive using a proprietary interface, it's not ID. Microsoft Windows for Workgroups version 3.1. One. Yeah, 3.11. And of course it has all the packable software on it. As well as where is PBNAV? Oh, it must be in there. Yeah, it has also an FM radio card and it has Packable Navigator. So, yeah, enjoy it and uh, happy 30th birthday, Windows 3.1.